Let's apply this idea of modular design to an example. Restaurants search. Here are the data, and we'll try to build a program that lets us look up a restaurant by words in its name and also show related restaurants. For each restaurant, we know its name, the number of stars it got on Yelp, and the price category that Yelp gives it. And these are actual examples from the Yelp database that were released a few years ago for academic use. Here's another entry about La Cascada Taqueria, which has three stars on average and a price category of two. I think in Yelp, stars go from one to five and prices go from one to three. Each business not only has a name, but also some complicated, unique string called the business ID. And we'll have a different one of these dictionaries for every restaurant near the border of Berkeley campus. And we also have reviews, which give a business ID, telling us which restaurant the review is about, a user ID, which is a unique indicator of who wrote it. This doesn't have an email address or anything, but it does tell us whether the same user wrote two different reviews, how many stars they gave the restaurant, and some text. Café 3 or Café Tre, as I like to say, used to be the bomb diggity when I first lived in the dorms, but sadly, quality has dramatically decreased over the years, says user X, V, O, C, U, S, Z, etc. This review is from 2012. The data I have is a little bit old because Yelp stopped publishing an academic data set that includes Berkeley restaurants. Their new academic data set doesn't have anything from Berkeley. So we're going to use some older data because it's more interesting to see cafes and restaurants that actually exist around campus. Here's a review for a different business. This business ID matches the one for La Cascada Taqueria. And user 84D etc. gave two stars to La Cascada Taqueria, saying, excuse me for being a snob, but if I wanted a room temperature burrito, I would take one home, stick it in the fridge for a day, throw it in the microwave for 45 seconds, then eat it, not go to a restaurant and pay like $7 for one, said this user in 2009. So given that I have a file full of these business names and a file full of these reviews, how can I build a restaurant search application that lets me look up a restaurant by name and show related restaurants? Well, there are many questions to be answered in order to finish this application. What does it mean to look something up by name? What does it mean for restaurants to be related? What should we do with the price and the stars and the business ID? How should we represent businesses and reviews? Well, let's dive in and try to focus on modular design. So here's my file of restaurants. And in fact, there's more information than even what I said. Longitude, latitude, categories, addresses, not just for Cafe 3, but also Jasmine Thai, Fondue Fred, and a long list of other ones. There are 133 restaurants in this data set. And what about the reviews? We have 17,000 reviews that say things like, the pizza is terrible, but if you need a place to watch a game or just down some pictures, this place works. And we have the business ID they're talking about, but we don't know the name of that unless we match it up with one of the businesses in the other file. Having taken a peek at the data, I think we can dive in and write some code. We need a function that searches so that we can call search on Thai and get back a list of all the Thai restaurants. And then for each restaurant in these results, we should be able to look at the restaurant itself and also what it's similar to. I think a good way to represent whether something's similar is using a method. Let's get three different similar restaurants for every R. Now for this to work, we need to have a search function. We pass in a query 
and we need to decide what it means to match a query. Well, I think if the query's in the name, then we should return that restaurant. R for R in all restaurants, if query in r.name. Now, we haven't defined yet what a restaurant is or how to get all the restaurants, so this code might not work, but it has the right idea. One of the most important concerns of a search engine is always the ranking that it gives to the results. So what order should we return the restaurants in? Alphabetical? By location? Maybe the most popular one first? Maybe the one with the highest star rating? This decision gives us an opportunity for modular design. We can just pass in a ranking function and return a sorted version of the results that uses the ranking function in order to pick which ones come first. So that nice piece of modular design comes with a consequence. Every time I call search, I need to come up with a ranking function. So it would be helpful to have some default. How about, by default, we order them by their number of stars. Now, sorted gives you back the list of results from least to greatest according to the key function. So this would give us the one with the lowest stars first. Unless we put a negation sign here, in which case the lowest by negative stars is actually the one with the most stars. Okay, we're making progress, but we need to know what all the restaurants are and how a restaurant works. Let's start with the latter. Representing a restaurant is naturally done with a class. And we already see some of the attributes we need to track the name and the stars, which we'll assume we get from the file somehow and are passed in here. I think this is a good opportunity to think about how we're going to keep track of all the restaurants. Instead of having some global name, we could use a class attribute, which we initialize here and populate here. All.append self puts whatever restaurant I create into the list of all restaurants. So now I think my search function will work, but what about r.similar? That's something we need to define as well. How do I find the k most similar restaurants to some restaurant? Well, that sounds complicated. I think a good step in the right direction is to write down a doc string. Return the k most similar restaurants to self. And for now, let's leave it blank. I think we've written enough code that we should test our progress, so let's not worry about the file just yet and create some restaurants. Thai Delight has two stars, Thai Basil has three stars, and Top Dog has five stars. Man, that place is delicious. And we run our program, we found a bug, Instead of referring to all restaurants, I was referring to the built-in all function, which does not have an append method. Another bug is that when I print out a restaurant, I see some nonsense. I can fix that by just adding a wrapper method. And now why don't we return angled brackets around the name of the restaurant? Okay, so when we search for Thai, we find Thai Delight and Thai Basil, but not Top Dog. That looks good and we just need to finish this notion of similarity. 